You see that bucket back there? Yeah, I'm one of those guys that goes, hey, whoa! Don't throw that away. We might need that someday. Well, my friends, today is that day. So I recently bought a bunch of animatronics from a guy on Facebook Marketplace, and among those animatronics was one from 2013 called Death Row. It's just a guy in an electric chair, only he's missing the actual chair. The chair didn't originally come with him, you just set him in a regular chair. So technically you could just pull out one of your dining room chairs and set him in there and you have an electric chair. But I like to do things a little different, so today I am going to build an electric chair. I'm going to use wood that I have around the house. This post here, a couple pieces I found in the garage. This is left over from when we built the deck. We got an old 2x4 here. I think this piece was left over from trim that my brother did in my bathroom when he remodeled it. And these were some pieces of wood that were, I don't know, in something that I bought. So since these are all random pieces of wood, I couldn't really plan out measurements very well. So I just kind of wrote down everything that I need and we're gonna wing it. Oh, you gotta love summer when you're trying to film outside. We got a helicopter up here. We got people down here leaf blowing and mowing the lawns, dogs barking. But it's a beautiful day and we are gonna build an electric chair. So what I'm gonna do is measure the pieces that I have to work with and then modify my measurements to accommodate what I have to work with. And then we're gonna build an electric chair. Now I also hit Goodwill for a couple things I need and I ordered something special from Amazon to top it off. But out of this, we need to get back legs, front legs, a plywood seat or slats for the seat. We need seat edges, leg shackles, arms, posts, blocks, slats for the back of the seat and a bunch of screws and nails. Guys, I am just cracking up as I'm building this thing here. Cause I'm thinking, what must my neighbors think? <laughs> I can't believe how awesome this has turned out so far. Look at this. I said I was gonna build an electric chair and I built 
an electric chair. I got these belts at Goodwill yesterday for a buck 79 a piece. And like I showed you before we started, all that wood I already had. That was literally all pieces of wood that I kept. And I said, oh, one day I might need one of these. <laughs> okay, so I have one more thing to make this complete besides the guy that's gonna get electrocuted. And that is these two plasma lights that are gonna go right up on the top of each of those posts on the top of the chair. These were 10 bucks a piece on Amazon. They are battery operated. I think they use AAA batteries. And you've probably seen these kind of things before. In fact, on the movie Goonies, Chunk is playing around with one in the attic. And this is a little ball that emits what looks like electrical current. So this is what they look like right here, just this ball. And when you turn it on, you'll see that electrical current going through there. Now this does come with a cord in there, USB cord, you can plug it in, but it uses, yeah, four AAA batteries. So we're gonna put the batteries in here and attach one of these on each of these posts up here. Okay, there it is, guys. I had to come into the garage where it was a little darker so you could see these good, but there is our electrical current balls going <laughs> on top of the electric chair. That just gives it a little bit more confirmation that it is, in fact, an electric chair. So these are just sitting on top here at the moment. You can pick it up and take it off. But I do have some Velcro, and I'm going to use the Velcro to secure those so that you can take them off and change the batteries when you need to. All right, guys, there it is, the final product, the electric chair. We got the electric, electricing on the top, and check this out. If you touch it... The electric comes straight to your fingers. Pretty cool. Yeah, 10 bucks a piece on Amazon for those. Got them Velcroed on the top there. We got our straps for the arms, the legs. Pretty good looking, guys. It looks a lot smaller on film than it actually is. It is just over three and a half feet tall. It's about 18 inches wide. It's not made for a person to actually sit in, although it is pretty sturdy, so you probably could. But it is definitely perfect for what I built it for, which is that Death Row animatronic from Spirit Halloween. And if you guys want to see that one and see it in action in this electric chair, you got to come over to the other channel, that Nate guy on YouTube. <laughs>